Hey everyone, Dale here with Pacific Sun Technologies. I am excited to be talking to you in the new year and have some great news to start this new year. The best incentive in the country is the federal investment tax credit, at least for those of you considering solar. Now, a little backstory. In 2015, Congress extended the investment tax credit, or ITC, for the first time, but scheduled the incentive to gradually phase out, or sunset, over the next seven years, dropping from 30% to 26% to 22% before disappearing altogether for residential projects and remaining in place for at at 10% for commercial or industrial projects. While the Trump administration has not been particularly favorable towards clean energy policy, many industry analysts and insiders anticipated that the incoming Biden administration would reinstate some policies and incentives that can spur the growth of renewable technologies in the country. Few, however, anticipated that the lame duck session of Congress would take an action on climate policy at the end of 2020, like seriously. But 2020 had, I guess, one last surprise in store for us, this time, though, a positive one for clean energy, with an extension of the ITC included in the end of the year spending bill. It's HR 133. This was buried in a nearly 5,600 page bill. So what's included in the ITC extension for solar? Well, the 2020 spending bill extends the solar ITC at its current level of 26% for two additional years. Yes, two years. So that's through the end of 2022 before decreasing to 22% in 2023 and disappearing for residential projects for 2024 and so on. The spending bill does maintain the 10% ITC for solar on commercial and industrial projects after it sets for residential projects in 2024. You can find the actual language extending the ITC on page 4908 of the PDF found in the description below for commercial extension. It's section 48A of the tax code. You know, while you're down there, why don't you go ahead and give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. I really appreciate it. We really appreciate it. And that way this video gets shared with other people so they learn about this extension of the tax credit. Now on page 4,915 of that same PDF, you'll find the residential extension section 25D of the tax code. Major thanks to Cal SSA for finding the page numbers in the bill so I didn't have to read the whole thing. I mean, really, I wasn't going to read 5,600 pages. No, it just wasn't going to happen. If you're considering investing in solar for your home or business, the extended investment tax credit is great news. Two more years, yes, two more years of the best solar incentive is a positive outcome for everybody. I do want to say that you shouldn't wait until the end of 2023 to go solar and specifically not just because it's the end but more particularly to the pandemic because many manufacturers have been experiencing shortages of materials to produce their solar panels or other components like microinverters or inverters. Now these shortages of materials include glass for the solar panels, metal, wire, wafers, and many other things. So, so pricing has been at its lowest point ever in the industry. I mean, there is such a large demand right now for solar that the price has continued to plummet. And I'm gonna be doing another video talking about how solar has pretty much hit rock bottom. It, it's not gonna get any cheaper. In fact, it's likely to go up in price if you wait because of this demand and that the extension of the tax credit has brought. But factoring in the pandemic of shortage. So when you factor all these together, now is a great time to go solar. Now, I don't wanna get greedy, but there were two primary things solar advocates were looking for from the ITC extension that didn't ultimately make their way into the final bill. Now, they wanted an ITC or investment tax credit for standalone battery backup. 
and direct pay of the ITC, which would have made it more like a rebate than a tax credit. While the creation of an ITC for standalone storage alone, like battery backup without solar, would have been great for the industry. If you're a home or business owner looking to invest in solar plus storage and planning to charge your battery with solar, then it doesn't really matter to you because that, that will qualify you for the full investment of the 26% tax credit that got extended. As long as the batteries are recharged from a renewable energy source, i.e. solar, then you're good to go. Now, if you just wanted a battery backup system, well, there's no tax incentives at this time for you. And if you're one of those homeowners looking for solar or just retrofitting battery backup, then visit us online to receive a hassle-free quote. We have some amazing promotions going on thanks to our partnerships with various manufacturers like Q-Cells, Solaria, LG Solar, and Enphase Energy. Like literally, you're not gonna wanna miss out on our promotions because you could save up to $2,500 depending on what configuration or system you're looking to get. So check it out while these promotions last. Be sure to subscribe to the channel, like this page, and uh, again, use that description down below to check out the bill and of course get your quote. Thanks for watching, until next time.